Howdy there folks, I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs and I'm here with the Zport 710 in-ear monitors which are available from zport.com and amazon.com for a very, very low $20. Now when Zport asked me if I wanted to review these headphones, I looked at them and almost said no because I thought it was your typical cheap looking packaging Chinese earbuds. And uh, boy, was I wrong. The packaging is certainly nothing to look at but you do get a nice carrying pouch along with the earphones and a small medium and large uh, earbud size. Now I actually am rocking the medium ear tip size, uh, or excuse me, the small ear tip size on these headphones and it works great for me. However, there are three options that you can choose. Unfortunately, as you can see, this is a bit of a wide uh, in-ear monitor. Uh, I mean, the drivers are right there and so you're not going to get uh, the ability to put on a couple of other aftermarket earpieces like the comply foam tips and stuff like that. You're gonna have some problems since this is such a large, um, area. Nonetheless, you can put them in your ears very, very easily, and I usually have problems with silicone tips, and I'm glad to report that I do not have any problems with the Z-Port 710. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of Z-Port branding right there, and you get a right and left ear. Uh, it's made out of a steel enclosure, which is very, very durable, uh, super nice to see. And uh, you also get this very, very nice braided cord. Uh, it is a nylon cord that is very, very tangle resistant. Uh, is it 100% foolproof? No, but it's pretty darn close and uh, you won't experience much tangling, uh, even though it does kink a little bit. Now, many people report this looks strikingly similar to the Mi Electronic CC51, and this is true, they do. However, the sound in these is quite different, as is the price, uh, considering that they're from the same OEM. So even though the enclosure is the same, the sound and the price is a lot different from two different companies. Now these are very, very easy and very, very nice to listen to. Uh, it's a little bit thick in the upper bass region, not a lot, but it is a tiny bit. Uh, lower bass region is not going to be as prominent as some of you might like for dubstep, for hip hop, for rap people. Uh, this may not be your optimal headphone. However, if you listen to anything else, pop, rock, anything of the sorts, it's an amazing sound because the treble is very, very laid back. It has excellent extension, or extension, and it's pretty edgy without being fatiguing, uh, which is pretty unusual uh, in, in a lower end earbud. You either get that ton of bass or that ton of treble, uh, both of which are not very pleasurable to listen to, and this is kind of right in the middle. Now, the mids are slightly recessed, and this is my biggest downside of the earbuds, although grain comes with burn-in, and after about 60 hours of listening to these things, I've noticed a, uh, a monumental improvement in the mid-range. It's still slightly recessed, Assessed. Vocals are still not quite as prominent as I would have liked them to be, but it's still pretty good. Now, Soundstage is beyond fantastic for buds this price. Um, there's excellent, excellent Soundstage. You can hear stuff from coming all over. Uh, you know, you get that front and back feel as well as the left and right. It's really unusual to find that in such a cheap pair of earbuds, but the Z-Port 710 or 7010 has those. Uh, it sounds like a 50 to $60 IEM, you know, even for audio files, I think it's a must buy. I can't believe it's such a low price and uh, it, it performs marvelously in rock, pop, jazz. It's awesome. Now, bass heavy stuff like dubstep, electronica, hip hop, it's not probably as bassy as you're looking for. Um, however, for every other genre, for 20 bucks, this is amongst the best sound you can get. And I was amazingly uh, impressed with what the Z-Port 7010 brought to the table. So my final summations for these and my final rating is an absolute Snazzy Labs approved award. These won it hands down. Uh, they perform, you know, excellently. The sound is great. Soundstage is fantastic. Mids are slightly recessed, but other than that, it's a very, very nice extension on all ends. Uh, jazz, pop, rock, all sound great. That lower end stuff, you might be able to find a better bit, uh, you know, a better deal elsewhere, but Honestly, for anything else, 20 bucks is a screaming deal, and I think everyone should pick up a pair of these because you'll be excellently surprised, as I know I was. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. The Z-Port 7010 gets a Snazzy Labs approved award, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.